Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the Mimic Book 2 Chapter 4 and whether or not it will be coming out this year. I have mentioned this a ton already too in some other live streams and some videos. My last one guessing when it was going to release as well. And I stated in that video that the Mimic would update later in 2025. But the biggest thing is 2025 is a long time away. So if we have to wait that long for the update, will we get anything else in the meantime, like smaller updates or will there just be nothing for a year? Or with the recent news we have gotten on Yokai, has the year long predicted drought changed and could we get it sooner? So the length between book two, chapter two and chapter three was about eight months long. A really long wait in drought and be, it was because chapters are just becoming too long and too complex now we got chapter 3 this January so if the updates only now only take eight months why could this one potentially take a year that's because of the development of yokai the devs announced during the development of chapter 3 that after the update yokai would be their main focus and after that the mimic would resume the updates now, like I said earlier, the development of Yokai determines if we get the update in 2024. If Yokai even comes out this year, and that's an even comes out this year, it would have to come out in the summer for the Mimic to have a fighting chance to release a chapter this year. But I still think that it is possible. So the latest Yokai news, which I made a full video on if you want to go check that out, is on hiring new devs to make maps to create them every three weeks. That means a new map for Yokai every three weeks. Now that is a very strict timeline but I think it's very much needed and if they get one every three weeks depending on how many developers because this is just one developer one map for three weeks if they get 10 that is 10 maps within the span of just three weeks but if they only have one making a map every three weeks it could be much longer so it depends on how many developers that they have to create it to speed up the progress of yokai. So if they can get Yokai out in the summer and they put a lot of focus into getting the last chapter of book two out, then it's possible it comes out in 2024. But I do think, and this is just my opinion, the earliest we could see it is in 2025 because I still think that Yokai releasing in the summer is still a stretch. So I do not think the Mimic is going to bring Book 2 Chapter 4 to us in 2024. But like I said, a year is a long time. So what could the Mimic do in the meantime to stop the drought? So I've talked about this a ton and I think the Mimic really needs to do this. I think they need to bring back events. Not super long events that take up a crazy amount of time like chapter size. But I'm talking the size of like Christmas trials. If they do let's say 4 of these, maybe in a year that would be just enough content i think to get us by to the next chapter and it's not even like the mimic doesn't have the concepts to create these ideas as well just remember when we got book two chapter three we also got snowy hell and then a week later we got the full release of the mimic classic that is a lot of content within just one week and if it was spread out just a little bit more we may still be playing the Mimic Classic to this day. But the reason I didn't play much of the Mimic Classic is because I was so overwhelmed with the release of Book 2 Chapter 3 and also Snowy Hell that I never actually had a chance to play it. Another idea I had for the Mimic, I thought this would be really cool, is maybe if they want to just scrap the game most thing entirely, fine, that's up to them. But I think something else that could be cool is them adding something like small stories of the Mimic. So as you know, uh, to complete a chapter of the Mimic, you have to go through like four to six different parts, maybe even more for some of the longer chapters. What I'm thinking is they just take one of those parts and they just make it a short story for the Mimic. Because I think the Mimic has some really cool monsters and if we dive deeper into some of their stories and some of their like horror elements, I think that could really bring a lot of people back. And plus, I don't think this would take much of a development time. If it's just a short 5-10 to 10 minute section, I think that's perfectly fine. In the meantime, I will be uploading a variety of horror game videos from Roblox, from some super scary ones, to some ones with some really good stories. So while you're waiting for the Mimic to update, why not give some of them a try? Let me know what you guys think about this prediction and video in the comment section down below. Peace out.